watching Charters Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. Thank you for joining us. Our guest is Tim White. Mr. White is a chancellor for UC Riverside. You've just finished your first academic year. Congratulations. Thank I want to Brad. talk to you, though, about the admissions process. UCR is a hot campus. How does the freshman class look for 2009-2010? We had the most interest ever, and yet we're being forced because of the contracting state budget to allow fewer students to enroll at UC Riverside next year. These are California resident students who are coming in right out of high school. We're having about 400 less of those students enroll next year. It's a very hard process for them and their families, also for my staff. To balance it out a little bit, we're taking about 100 more community college transfers. And so my advice to people is, if you don't get into your UC this fall, get into a community college, take the right courses, and then transfer later on. That's I, a good route to get there. And I know someone who started a community college, and I'm looking at them. That's exactly right. So it really can happen in a very efficient and successful way. It's not as if you're doing something less than if you take a year or two at community college. It prepares you just fine. And, and uh, in fact, in many regions, I think it gives you a leg up to know how to manipulate different environments. So I, I think that's my advice to people who don't get in this time around to right. say, go to a community college and and keep your shoulders up. So given that UCR is a hot campus, I know you've been looking to expand some of its programs, one of them being the School of Public Policy. It makes a lot of sense. The Inland Empire is growing, a lot of exciting uh, governmental movement in this area, and yet not such good news on that front. Now, both our School of Public Policy and School of Medicine are both being hit by the budget problems we have. We're going to delay the opening of the School of Public Policy until the economic fog lifts a little bit. It's very sad because you point out the need is enormous. Uh, on the School of Medicine, likewise, we are continuing to move forward and finding our founding dean. And in fact, uh, during this course of this summer, we'll be interviewing publicly four finalists. But there's not been a nickel of state money that has come to the School of Medicine. The School of Medicine is two things. One, it's about access to health care. And two, it's about the economy. And uh, the access issues are very clear. We about have half the number of docs in our area compared to the rest of California and 40% of them are going to retire within the next decade. Wow. And enrollment, or not enrollment, but uh, population is doing this, so that's a train wreck. But economically, a medical school means we're spending a lot of our health care dollars in other parts of the state and not in the local economy. And so that hurts us here economically in restaurants and car buying and all the things of the economic multipliers. And what's so interesting about what you just described, there's no state funding coming down, is that you have a real booster. Assemblymember Bill Emerson, who I think is a dentist himself, he represents CR, he has been pushing hard for this. And that's what you really need as an advocate. And yet, even so, there is no money coming down. And it needs to be publicly funded, I presume? It needs to be publicly funded. Mm -hmm. um, you're right, uh, uh, Bill Emerson, among all of our Inland delegation, have been very supportive. The governors, everybody's supportive, but nobody has squeezed out the nickel for us yet. And so it's going to slow us down a little bit. There's no doubt about that. We have a wonderful gift from Kaiser Foundation of $10 million. They properly won't release it until the state puts in at least an it's equal matching. amount. And so uh, we are disappointed, but we're not disheartened because this will be successful and it'll transform health care. It'll transform the economy in our right. region. It'll attract biotechnology companies, it'll bring in faculty, so physician critical. faculty. It's really stunning what will happen. In, in our final moments, we see that grant programs for students are shriveling. Cal Grants, who knows what's going to happen to that. Anything you can give advice for to parents in connection with the financial burdens of UCs? We've committed to a blue and gold program. If the family income is $60,000 a year or less, we will see to it that 100% of the fees are paid. It's a combination of our own money, private giving, plus Pell Grants and Cal Grants. It's stunning. Stunning guarantee. That's terrific. Four years. Wow. Chancellor Tim White, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Nice you to bet. be here. For Charters Local Edition, I'm Brad Pomerantz. Back to CNN Headline News. I'm Brad Pomerantz, anchor for Charter Communications, CNN Headline News Local Edition. Now, if you've missed any of these interviews, you can always watch them through Charter's video on demand free service, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Now to access all of Charter's local edition interviews on VOD, please go to Charter's channel one and then click on community interest and then click on government and public affairs. And thank you for being a Charter customer.